Parents find a secret message for their daughter after they lost her, and she wrote herself before. Tim and Mary Ellen Smith were devastated when their 12-year-old daughter, Taylor, passed away on January 5, 2014. Taylor died suddenly from complications due to pneumonia. The grieving parents began the gut-wrenching task of sorting through Taylor's earthly belongings. That's when they discovered a note Taylor had addressed to herself, but only to be read in the year 2023. Tim and Mary Ellen were shocked, not by the fact that their daughter had written a letter to her future self, but by what she had written. Hearing their daughter's voice again provided such unexpected comfort that they shared her words with their ministry and later the world. Keep watching to see what Taylor had to say to her 22-year-old self. While sorting through their late daughter's possession, Tim and Mary Ellen Smith found a mysterious letter. On January 5, 2014, Taylor died suddenly at the age of 12 from complications due to pneumonia. She lived with her beloved family in Johnson City, Tennessee. On April 13, 2013, Taylor had written a letter to her future self, sealed it up, and vowed not to open it until April 13, 2023. She would have been 22. The letter had all the trappings of an important official document, save for the little girl's own handwriting. Struck with curiosity and emotion, Tim and Mary Ellen decided to open the letter. They were shocked by Taylor's beautiful note written to her college-age self. How's life? Life's pretty simple right now, 10 years in your past. I know I'm late for you, but as I'm writing, this is early. So congratulations on graduating high school. If you didn't, go back and keep trying. Get that degree. Are you, we, in college? If not, I understand. We do have pretty good reasoning after all. Don't forget, it's Alana's 11th birthday today. She's 11 already? In my time, she just turned one. I didn't get to go to that party though, because I was in Cranks, Kentucky for my first mission trip. I've only been back for six days. Speaking of, how's your relationship with God? Have you prayed, worshipped, read the Bible, or gone to serve the Lord recently? If not, get up and do so now. I don't care what point in your life we're in right now. Do it. He was mocked, beaten, tortured, and crucified for you. A sinless man who never did you or any other person any wrong. Now, have you gone on any more mission trips? Have you been out on the country yet? How about on a plane? Is Doctor Who still on the air? If not, what regeneration did they end it with? You should go watch some Doctor Who. Later, though, you've got to finish reading your own words of wisdom. Do you have your own place yet? If we're in college, what are we majoring in? Right now, I want to be a lawyer. Have you been to Dollywood recently? Right now, their newest attraction is the Wild Eagle. It's so fun. Also, I think I'm going to sell my iPad and buy an iPad Mini. Don't forget to tell your kids that we're older than the tablet. Attached, I also have a drawing of an iPad so you can show them. Well, I think that's all, but remember, it's been 10 years since I wrote this. Stuff has happened, good and bad. That's just how life works, and you have to go with it.